here's it. Oh, okay. All right. You were definitely going to see that on camera. Holy crap. Well, guys, yesterday we showed you how to basically take apart a whole sprinkler when it comes to the nozzles and replace all of those. Today is uh, Zach's favorite thing he's going to demonstrate, <laughs> and he's going to replace a couple of center jaws. And lots of U joints. And lots of U joints. And I already did one thing wrong by helping him get it out of there. And then I placed it directly upside down on the ground and you're not supposed to do that. So already off to a good start. And I guess we'll see you when we get out there. We made it out here and while we're at it, here's a weed update. Here's some stuff I ran over, but look at it. It's weak. pretty. He's no, look here's a sign of a bad U-joint. All that slop, that rubber U-joint in the middle is wore out. And I've already taken all the nuts off of this beforehand, which is the hard part, because they're usually all rusted. So now you just get mean with it. Oh, almost. There, that's the puck that's wore out. <clears throat> Sometimes you can get away if you just change that puck. It'll be fine. If you're here, yeah. do this when there's not crop here, which I know there's wheat here, but like coming out here and walking back and forth and bringing tools and then fighting this like during the summer. Oh yeah. It's not fun. What, what, what is the difference as compared to this? If I'm a bigger proponent. I've just changed the whole thing now. And then she'll show you when she gets down there. If you remember, this is the pivot that messed up on us in the middle of the night while we were trying to top dress wheat. And I had to come change this micro switch at like 12:30 at night. And when you change those, unless it's daylight and you can actually see, there's no way to know how straight the pivot's gonna run because the micro switch is kind of what tells it when to move, which is what keeps it all lined up. So she'll show you when you get down here a couple towers, you see this thing is got a massive kink in it and it still is able to run but obviously i don't want it to run like that all year so she's going to go down to the pivot and run it i'm going to hop up there and i'm going to adjust that micro switch and get this thing nice and straight again first we got to get this u-joint fixed all right y'all made it to the pivot looking for snakes You ready? Here's a, oh, okay. All right. You were definitely going to see that on camera. Holy crap. Well, we have an issue. We don't know what else it could be, but obviously this isn't it because every time he tries to straighten it out, it safeties out and dies on us. So we're gonna try to call in reinforcements and see if we can get another diagnosis of the issue. Um, we're of course gonna think it out as always, but you guys see that? That's not good. <laughs> it's still really bad. It's, it's a lot better than it was, but it's still pretty bad. Well, we were on our way out of here. But if you guys know Zach, you know that he can't leave stuff alone until he figures out what's wrong with it. So he's up there breaking stuff, but in a good way, he says. You hand me a 7 16 wrench. It'll be in that channel lock kit that's in the front seat. In the front seat. Climb up there. Unless you want to get it to me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I was going to hit you in the face. Well, what happened was I was over there drinking some water. Jordan got up here, and <laughs> next thing you know, he took over from there. No, this all goes back to the night with the sprayer when everything went wrong. And I said, man, we're really lucky we didn't break anything. 
Well, we didn't get so lucky because I did break something, kind of. I can show them real quick. Okay, so if you look at this bar right here, this is what's basically, it's, it's not telling it, but it's what's keeping this next span in line with this one. That's what this is doing. This rod, you can see right there, I already took off, connects from here to here, which that is what turns this. And as you can see, that's where your, this is your micro switch, this is your safety micro switch. That's what's telling it to go forward in reverse, and this is what's telling it if it gets out of whack and it needs to shut itself down. Well, this arm is what controls where that cam sits. Well, that night that I messed this all up and I kinked it out really bad, it twisted this bar just ever so slightly. Like I kinked it so bad that it just barely put a twist into this bar. Well, that then messed up this cam and it was sitting like that. And as you can see, that's not right. Neither of them are sitting in the slots they're supposed to be in. Well, I was trying to take this off so it would be a little easier to adjust. And I mean, the second I put a wrench on it, it just snapped this off. So not a big deal in the long run. I already got the arm off. We'll take this off. We need a new piece on the end of that arm and we need a new one of these and we'll be good to go. And then I'll get that thing all wire brushed up and cleaned up and we'll be able to adjust this back. So not a huge deal, but definitely glad we're figuring it out now versus when we're trying to start this because that would have been a bad deal to get this started, get water in it, clean all the nozzles, then find out I can't get it adjusted right. So would much rather do this now. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. I was just trying to take a cinematic pan over shot. Hey. Let's just leave it be because I'll wire wheel all this up and then it'll, it'll then she'll go for sure. Well, thank God for Zach's absolute bullheadedness and determination to get that fixed all by himself so that we didn't have to call for backup. Ended up getting a little part kit for the whole thing. It was just like a rod and some screws and everything. He's always really hard on himself and tells me that it's all self-inflicted, but he got it all fixed by himself. So that's really all that matters is that he didn't give up on it. I always love reading my farmer friends in the comments talking about how jobs like this that were supposed to take 20 minutes minutes always take 24 hours or maybe even a couple days to fix but it always works out in the end two days later so i don't know if you can tell what's going on but this big empty space is about to get filled up and it's really making things real and setting things in motion for the season we're getting a delivery of seed and it's a lot so Here's the first one. I close the doors so that uh, our new stray cat can't escape because I'm sure he's hiding in the combine because that's what he does. And Zach's outside unloading a million pallets. Usually we get like a giant wall that goes all the way over here. It's gonna cover up our chemical, unfortunately, but we're kind of hard up for space right now. He's <laughs> representing because he just bought a lot of seed. <laughs> <laughs> this is our boss. <laughs> Good boy. There we go, guys. Corn for the year. Just kidding. doing that it's an exciting day corn seed delivery that's just one and that's because i sat it in here and then i realized it was going to take me a long time to shuffle them all in here and organize them and i didn't want him sitting out here waiting on me so i brought one in and then i was like okay i'm just going to set the rest on the ground and then after he leaves i'll take the time to organize them but check it out always exciting on a corn seed delivery day Cool, exciting. Got four pivots going, two on wheat, two on some work ground. Gonna hold off on anything else for the time being. Um, I think we are gonna try to start over in Sublette next week, depending on the weather, of course. But that's loosely our plan is to get started over there. I'm wondering where I can put this camera. What if I put it on this tractor? If I climb up here and do this. Do a little time lapse. Ow. 
Oh, guys, there you have it. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And that's kind of a good start to the season. Little things to be fixed, but glad they're fixed. It is catch-up and a feedback time. I love to get you guys' feedback. What do you guys think about longer videos, shorter videos? I love to know your opinion. Leave them down below. I have a lot going on lately. When it comes to our schedule, I have a lot to tell you guys about the garden situation. We are at this moment, as I'm editing this, in a tornado warning. So just pray for some of my plants that are already planted out there. In the next couple of vlogs, we're gonna be starting a lot of pivots. And a couple of those days, we're starting them in 48 degree weather because the weather in Kansas just does what it wants. Also, as I'm editing this, corn is being planted as we speak. And it's not Zach that's doing it, it's Blake. So we need to force Blake to carry a GoPro on him at all times so that he can film that for you guys. Zach's of course, getting strip tilling done and he's also limbkinning. I don't know if that's how you say that. I really don't like that word, limbkin. But anyway, I'll shut up now. Thank you guys for six. 618,000 subscribers. Thank you for all the support in the comments. And if you want to go support the channel, go buy some merchandise, guys. It's on bunkerbranding.com. We have our merchandise selling on there. T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, all that good stuff. Uh, thank you for everyone who already did buy merch. I really appreciate it. It really is such a dream to be working with Bunker Branding. I've been a fan of theirs for a really, really long time. But yeah, next couple of vlogs, be prepared to <laughs> see us get really wet and dirty and cold on a couple of those days starting some sprinklers. Oh, P.S. Forgot to tell you, go report all the scammers that are not my account down below. I have one of each account, one Instagram one Facebook, one TikTok, and one YouTube. Please be wary of scammers. Stay safe online, y'all. Don't send money to anyone, anywhere, anytime on the internet. I will never, ever, ever private message you asking you for gift cards, money, or help. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, love you, bye.